What's up everyone? I want to share this with you guys. I couldn't find much on the internet about it. it took a lot of searches and reading manuals. So I'm going to try and save you some time. Uh, I replaced my front differential the other day with a new front diff. And in the process, I had to take out the winch and I forgot to unplug my winch harness. So when I did that, I tore, here's the plug somewhere up here. Here it is. It tore all the prongs and the needles out of the harness. So I was trying to put the needles back in and get it to work right and it just wasn't working right. So after reading some manuals, I found that these two wires right here, sorry, there's a glare on my phone. I can't really see what I'm showing you. Okay, so there's this red one with a black line and then there's this brown wire. These two are only gonna be used if you have a remote. The only two wires you need for the switch to the actual winch is the green and then it's a black wire the green is going to go straight to the other green wire and let me see if i did that yep green to green and black goes to green with black stripe and it works now here's the mistake i made i left these two uncapped the first time i tested it and you can see they want to touch each other and it stopped working when I tried to make my first video. I was like, oh crap, what did I do now? I've had electrical problems before. It's no fun. So what I did was I blew two fuses. And let me show you the winch fuses because you can't. So that's another thing that's hard to find. So it blew my term uh, fuse, that 10 amp at the top, and my drive fuse right here. And I'll just show you where they are. This one all the way down here. That first one on the right on the bottom is your term fuse. And then this 10 amp right here, get my fat finger out the way, right there, that is your drive fuse. Then after I replaced my drive fuse, it was throwing a check engine light. And what it took was, I had to put, leave it running for a minute. Let's see if everything's off. See if everything's working and everything's off started up no check engine light thank god winch is working so what it took for me to get my service engine light off even after disconnecting the battery it stayed on so i let it run for about 10 minutes saw if it cleared it didn't and what worked was i and i think it was the drive fuse that did this i had to put it in high and then i had to engage turf mode and four-wheel drive and right when i put four-wheel drive in it turned off but uh, if anything, I hope that the winch wiring helps you guys. Uh, it's a little disappointing when you're working on something and you mess something else up. But it happens when you're playing with stuff like this. And subscribe if you like the video. Thanks, guys.